Blank. Fifteen lock. curious to see how joint you know. responds to the the pace off of Madison Keys. Like we mentioned, one of the hardest hitting players on the tour. There's Sam Stozer, Billie Jean King Cup captain for Australia. As, I mean, Joint's played a uh, lot of matches 15. this summer in particular, has won many matches, but different experience now. It's her first time playing someone in the top 50. So interesting to see how she responds. Early in this opening game, it would have been effective had it cleared the net. That's Chris Marnie. That's working with Maya Joint right now. Been a part of Tennis Australia for a long time. Oh. That's an area of Madison's games that I feel like has improved a lot is the backhand down the line in particular and she's been working on that so hard and it's a great job of cleaning up that part of her game. Great Juice. body serve there from joint. is able to get the game and you just feel as though she's Maybe just seconds keys, just away so. from really timing that forehand and really ripping <laughs> yeah that's some Lifting of the winning up. shot that uh, keys is going to produce yeah when she gets her racket on time right Irina it's a pretty impressive strike yeah, especially with these courts, they're playing a little bit quicker, so she just seems to be very, very comfortable with the speed of this court at the moment. Dirty love. Quick glance there at Bjorn Fratangelo on the right, fiance and coach for Madison. Veteran of the ATP Tour, wonderful tennis player. Forty love. You know, 113 miles per hour on that delivery. She's just getting warmed up. Some good attacking tennis, some straight ahead stuff from Madison Keys. Just to set the scene a little bit more accurately, it is 86 degrees, and the extreme heat rule 
or policy is in effect, meaning when that uh, wet bulb globe temperature, that term again, the old wet bulb globe temperature, when it gets about 30.1 Celsius, players will have an allowance between the second and third sets for a 10 minute break. But the conditions are stiflingly hot today in New York. Good strike on the ball there from Madison. Got the ball that she wanted, just cut it a little too fine. And those warmer conditions are going to make the ball go through the air a little bit faster. Of course, the humidity can sometimes play a role. But I feel like Madison's going to going to like these conditions. Her ball is just going to fly off her racket that much faster. Some pretty good hands at the net from joints. That's a great enough. indication of how she just was able to handle that power. Did a good job of being ready for that ball off Madison's racket. Fifteen. Joe, you mentioned those conditions, Madison being able to practice in Orlando, Florida. Let me tell you, it gets pretty steamy down there, so these conditions <laughs> yes. might actually benefit her today. <laughs> uh, that's a great point, Irina. So many of these there's players the reference being lucky and grateful to practice somewhere like in Florida, where when they come to the conditions today in New York, it doesn't actually feel as heavy or as hot. More it's change up on the serve there from joint, throwing in a, a kick serve, just a little off pace. That that's it. Used the pace well, took it cross court for the winner, so she finishes. All right, here's Madison Keys. Yeah, Maddie, originally a Midwestern girl out of Rock Island, Illinois. Playing her tennis out of it, living in Orlando, Florida. She knows Florida well for her family and her moved to Florida for her tennis. She was just a, a youngster. Played a lot of Tennis at the Chris Everett Tennis Academy. Oh. 15. Jill, you mentioned earlier about Madison Keys having one of the best kick serves in the game, and Maya Joint just handling it very, very nicely, making sure to be inside the court, not letting that ball get up above her shoulder. Four, three, fifteen. Yeah, I think she's seen a lot of Madison Keys play, and. I think from the from the very first second serve that she got an opportunity, she was three feet inside the baseline. She knows very well aware that that kick is going to get up high, and she's done a good job from the beginning to look to take that ball to be aggressive. Overall, she does like to to, to be aggressive off the ground, so something that's not that uncomfortable for her. Great length from both. Yeah. 
Two games all first set. Download the U.S. Open app to follow your favorite players, track scores and stats, watch match highlights, get player news, and this year you can watch live 3D views of all the singles matches. It's available on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. and trying to find the range on these returns. Just a 79 mile an hour second serve. It seems like she's trying to find her rhythm a little bit on that return. The previous one just looked over a little bit frustrated that she made that quick error. For, so for Madison, you know, she hasn't seen a lot of her opponent, and it's always different when you face your opponent on the court. So she's trying to find her rhythm out there, trying to figure out joints game. Or the 15. She hasn't really connected with the drop shot. Yeah, that's the that second. Well, yeah, go ahead, Arena. Yeah, that's the second one she's missed. This almost feels like she's just really decelerating there when you get an opportunity like that you almost have to be more punch it more to be more effective yeah, that's a good strike into that backhand corner she had keys on the run keys having to drop down to the one hander so maya joint continues Combination. I'll tell you guys right now, that is one of the hardest backhands I've ever seen. <laughs> that was incredible. And you've seen a lot. <laughs> I have. It's just just effortless power from Maddie. That's great get from Keith on the full stretch, but still able to be strong enough to hit that slice 13, very low 15. over the net, just getting through the court. It's a good return from the joint. Look at how low that just came back so quickly from her racket. Back footed joint. made the mistake on that she's playing the right way that's exactly what she needs to do to put pressure on keys just keep attacking that serve He's lost the opening point of the game, but was able to free his way through. First Some good strikes off both wings. And then those both players, when they see the ball coming at them, they really do a lot of work with their legs. They bend their knees, get down to where that ball is, because it's staying pretty low, it seems, skidding through the court. 
It is. Joint did such a good job neutralizing Maddie's serve. She's doing. She's getting quite a lot of air, especially on that backhand return. Already putting Madison in a defensive position. It's the right game plan. No, 15. I like that change up from Keese. It's the first time we've really seen her add a little height and spin, just a heavier backhand. And Joint's instinct is to take that early, but that can be difficult to consistently be aggressive on over the course of a match. Wow. Just got a little bit too close it's to that ball. It'll be interesting to see if Keyes chooses to incorporate that higher, heavier ball throughout this match. I agree with you, Jill. I think she gave herself a lot of room also to get up on the court as well and just test Maya Joint's ability to time that backhand. Oh. Turn. He's just pushed out yeah, wide. It was a really good it. serve, actually. Second serve trying to catch. Keith by surprise, but good chip and going for that depth just to neutralize that point. Yes. The wrong yes. shot to go for, trying to change direction on that return. Especially on the highest part of the net, too, Jill. Yeah, just a break point chance, right? Just go for that cross court. More margin on the ball. That's a perfect example right there. Just get able to accelerate through. You have more length of the court to play with. Uh, bounces, yes. Keys, I'm sure she's happy with the score line at 4 3. Serving with new tennis balls. to all of a sudden slap at that one down the line. She was rallying the ball really well. It was great defense from joint. But Maddie didn't have to go for such a big shot there. 15 on. It's got to be so tough, though, Jill, because a lot of times she does make it. Right. And so when you <laughs> yeah. feel like, okay, I know I have the ability to make that shot, sometimes you just feel as though, okay, it's going to happen every time, but that's when shot selection is so important. Right. I think for me it was about the way she went about 13, the shot, the 15. way she set up for it. I think her normal rally ball just has so much natural power behind it, and the one that she missed, I felt like she just slapped at it yeah, a absolutely. bit too much. Yeah. Oh. 
I like the intention there from joint hitting and trying to come forward. I think that's still the right play because the majority of times she's been connecting well on that second serve. Or did that say? Still a chance to get to 5 3. I like that better from joint. The last yeah. two returns have been more straight down the middle at Keys. And still, it allows you to be aggressive, allows you to still take that risk. And it's so difficult for any player when the ball is coming through the court that fast to, to be able to react, to create an angle from that position. You can see the average length of the rally just a little bit under three shots. Oh. Straight down the center, worked out for. That uh, was Dante great control Dante. there by joint. It's not easy, especially when you're playing on Ash for the very first time, to handle an overhead. But she did really well with just taking care of her feet, getting in position. Great target there. Let Tristan. Yes. What a serve that was right in the corner. It came at a good time. Erases the break point with one swing of the rocket. Yeah, she's got the cross court. There's the down the line. So that's a pretty varied weapon. I just really like, I don't know what you think, Jill, but I just really like her technique on the backhand for Maya Joint. Just there's not a lot that can go wrong. Technique wise, it looks really good. I agree, yeah. She sets up for the, the backhand extremely well. That nice shoulder turn racket is nice and prepared early on that backhand side. There is one, one, other. one more. Thank Thanks. you. Madison Keys hoping to find the newest tennis ball in that bunch, hoping that it's going to fly a little more quickly through the air. Break point number two for Joint. Oh. Ridiculous, you guys. That forehand. Yes. My goodness. You have to think that. I don't think my joint has seen pace like that. A long service game. Seventh minute. Oh. Uh, 
advantage. I haven't seen many quick errors actually from joint off the ground, and that was one where she actually had a little bit more time on the ball. The right thing to be aggressive, but sometimes you feel like all of a sudden I have this moment, have extra time, and you can maybe go for a bit too much. That was a little bit flat. Yes, nice serve. And she gets out of trouble there to fight off a couple of break points, but the serve you came through again. Well, I think that was a really percent. smart decision. All of a sudden, ju just aware that joint, okay, she's been being aggressive on the, on the second serve kick serve, and then all of a sudden you throw that kick serve in as a first serve, joints naturally a few more feet behind the baseline, so just makes it a, a different rhythm. She catched it, caught it a little bit higher. Just a smart choice from Keys. Struggling quite a bit when she's thrown in that slice out wide. And joint. All right, joint produces a love service game. Yes, first serve points. Probably on the serve, first serve, second serve opportunities. I really think that going deep middle is a great way to start the point, especially with someone of the striking ability of Madison. If really you know. the start she would have wanted. Boy, she gets a return in the center of the court. She's going to step up, play confidently. Did it well there. Eight winners. Oh. serve. I don't mind the approach. She actually hit with quite a bit of depth. It was a little bit too central and we know joint handles that pace well. She didn't have to do much just reflex the pace back and it, but was able to keep it nice and low to the feet of keys. Making a difficult pickup. Just rushed herself there slightly. Keys. Yeah, absolutely. I think she was already coming forward before finishing the shot there, Jill. Didn't try and overplay that forehand cross court because new That's joint your. was in trouble. Kept her margins pretty far inside the sideline. Just incredible length from both these ladies, and you just felt as though Madison was in control that entire point. But credit to Joint to be able to just react to the pace coming at her made Madison hit one extra shot.
Neyman Fassad, he makes the one six, break of ten, serve stand up, four. but she's able to close it out on her own serve for 6-4, so Keyes, a good start. Coach, Second stay in court. Day three serve. coverage continues as... Maya Joy steps up to the line, serving first here in the second set against the 14th seed, Madison Keyes. Four. Joint currently ranked just outside the top 100. This time last year, she was ranked outside the top 1,000. So she's made some wonderful strides. In fact, her record this year, incredible numbers. Oh. 53 wins, 19 losses. That's just been outstanding. I mean, she's won so many matches this year, and particularly this summer. Won a couple WTA Challenger events as no, well under her belt. It's only the she had two top 100 wins, and like we said earlier, like this first time facing someone in the top 50. Never mind top 20. Oh, I like that move. Yeah. Very well done. Madison's been returning well. This is her. Best return it game so far, nothing. just striking very well off the ground. But I like that joint. As soon as she saw that ball go up, like she didn't hesitate to take it out of the air. knees scraping the ground she stayed so low really doing well with just handling the pace coming off from joint as well it's great balance there by keys oh. Just the start. Yes. Now. And Valkyrie's now getting better depth off the ground right now and it is so difficult to consistently just mentally be able to defend against that pace that depth all the time it's the type of pressure the keys game can put on you Yeah, that was a nice strike. It was a deep ball. I'm sure Keyes felt like she would be in the rally, but what a finish. Oh, she got it this time. <laughs> She's been going for the drop shot. 
much better execution there, but she was much further inside the baseline. Makes it that much easier to hit and got up on this pretty quickly. came back fast and I think Keyes just wasn't able to get her footing balanced in time. Advantage Keyes. Yeah, nicely done from Madison Keyes. Bit of a shocking result coming from the grandstand corner. Barbara Krujic of the Wimbledon champion. Beaten by Elena Gabriela Rus of Romania. A qualifier. Incredible upset. Bruce will now take on Paula Bedosa. Spanish. Bedosa taking out Taylor Townsend, the American 6375. So some uh, developments and stories unfolding here at the US Open. Obviously, this one of Nash is looking games, fairly two clear, two setting a break for Second Maddie. Step. That's surprising, right? For Kojikova yeah, to right. go out? Yeah. Boy. It is surprising. Right, yeah. And Bruce plays. I mean, she can she hits a ton off the ground as well. So I mean when players are playing that aggressively and they're connecting with the ball and, and feeling great. You never know what can happen. It's so important for a joint just to keep trying to dig deep. I feel like overall in this match she's been defending pretty well. She's, she's deceptively quick mover off the ground. Yeah. And he's able to get behind these shots, able to handle the pace so far, but he's that first return game was exceptional. First serve percentage is, is going to be important for for joint in the second set. Yeah. Yeah. Fan has the right idea. First signs of frustration from the Australian. And a lot of it is from missing the serves because she knows how behind in the point she can feel right out of the gates if she doesn't get that first serve in. For a young player, your game is still developing, right? You know, she's going to have to develop the serve a little bit more effectively. She could still play the juniors, right? She's only 18. Right. Oh. Depth on that serve. So a second double fault in the game, and here's a chance for Keys to get a second break of serve. And she produced a stronger shot than the serve coming at her. He's so this match we can keep. Yeah, we're 
getting no, a good look at all the weapons that Keys possesses. He's got eight career titles. Three have come on hard courts, including Cincinnati. Also three on grass and two on clay, including Strasbourg this year. So her weapons, her shot making, good on any surface. Oh. At least if you're up against her on a clay court, you have a little more time. But on a court like this, it is a tough challenge. It is tough, yeah. Someone like Joint. You feel like you have more time on clay. Sometimes you don't <laughs> with, with Maddie's game. We'll talk about fast courts at Cincinnati title. She possesses those courts are some of the fastest hard courts on the tour. Ball really flies through the court. Now you played Madison here at the U.S. Open. I think it was on Armstrong, right? It was right? on Armstrong, yes. Yeah. It was very fast. <laughs> she, t she tries to take your time away. You feel like you have no shot. time. Yeah. That's a great pickup. And so much of it is, you know, you have to be alert mentally against her. I mean, you have to be so ready after every ball that you hit because she's going to be on top of the ball. She is going to be, you know, she's going to be aggressive on everything. So that mental alertness has to be there. If you had a choice to, to play to the forehand or backhand of keys, where are you directing your attack? I would probably say just the forehand. Uh, you know, there's been a few times where I just feel as though it just gets a little bit too close to her and she doesn't get around it enough. But man, if, if she times it well, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Some good hitting there from Joyce. Irina would just be throwing in her crafty drop shots all day <laughs> long. <laughs> I think the drop shot's a good play against I Keys. do too. I do if too. Only just to get yeah. her off the base. Joyce's been trying to. She was successful one time. Yeah. It's just difficult to do off of her deep ball sometimes. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. I mean, the, the drop shot seems like a great idea, but you just don't have enough time to yeah. execute it. He's getting behind the ball much better now in this second set. It's another good aggressive like return, ready, but he's you know, much more ready for that. Second set. USOpen.org is your online home for point-by-point -point live scoring, highlights, real-time stats, and draws. Visit the official tournament site at USOpen.org. She will be going to the University of Texas to pursue her tennis and college experience, despite the success she's had this year. Now, the University of Texas women's tennis coach, Howard Joffe, he's here to no, see definitely. Shermaya, but also Peyton Stearns, another University of Texas player, and Lulu's son. I know Lulu's son lost early, but Texas has been having some fine players come through of late. Absolutely. I, th I, I like it. I like when players decide to go, even if it's just for a year or two. You get to be on your own for kind of the first time sometimes for these three players. You learn so much experience about having to navigate and learn things on on your own, how to, to manage sports and studies at the same time. It's not the easiest thing to do. Wow. What 
the shot. You can just feel as though Madison's just Orleans. playing better as the match progresses. Definitely, yeah. Feeling more settled. Yeah, absolutely. Just get a real feel for the ball right now. I'm actually surprised she missed that, you guys. American to book her spot in the third round. Pretty amazing to look oh, at the 15. women ranked in the top 100. Keys is currently 14 in the world, and she's the number five American. That's pretty impressive. Coco Goff, Jessica Pagula, Danielle Collins, and Emma Navarro. Ranked ahead of her. It's a good time for yeah, women's tennis. I think both the women and the men. It's just been an incredible run. I think 21 or 22 women in the same, similar on the men's side in the draw. Yeah, that's it. spots on the serve and overall keys just really good variety throwing in the kick and the slice pretty often throughout this match Joffrey, the University of Texas women's coach, will be following Peyton Stern. She's up against Daria Kazatkina today. Texas alum, Peyton Stearns. Just misjudged that one. Good stretch return, just being able to get that serve back in play from joint. Nice performance by the teenager out of Australia and First Point, Michigan.
That's got to be a nice feeling for Keys being able to get second round hardcourt win under her.